down here. Okay, so this is the new sink. And that on the left is just a temporary piece. It's a little cutting board I made out of that uh, food grade plastic stuff. And there's the space uh, that I need to fill in. The reason I need to fill it in is because when I made this cabinet right here, I miscalculated the depth. Measured it three times and got it wrong four times. And so, uh, uh, it's, yeah, I didn't realize it until I completely finished and put the uh, varathene on it. So I had some scraps of um, culture marble out there in the garage that somebody gave me years ago. They were cut off from some big tops and stuff, you know, and backsplashes, whatever, don't know. Who's in? And uh, so I got some, uh, I did a bunch of reading, video watching, and I got some, uh, in the previous video you can see it, the uh, gel coat, because it, it was old and yellowed and wasn't the same color to begin with, it wasn't white, this is really white, you can kind of see that I think, but it's pretty close, uh, this is as white as you can get, from what I could tell, of course everybody's name, white names are different, but uh, color names. But so uh, it's gonna go back there, and then there's a, a little short splash, quarter inch thick, and I'm just the same height as this built-in roll splash. We used to call that a roll top when I, I used to be a cabinet maker, and when they first invented them, you know, started making them that way with formica. They call them roll tops because they rolled the formica in that corner, or they made it roll, you know, made a radius in there and rolled. This is to keep water off the cabinet. That's what happened to the original one. I actually built these about 15 years ago. And uh, the, the vanity, and th this one got damaged on really just over here in this corner. Uh, I lost my bearings there down here. And uh, so anyway, I just ended up doing a hole. I kept the doors and uh, did a new face plate and a new right, you can't see that of course, but a new right side. This one was all right, but it had been damaged down here. And uh, it's been sanded, you can kind of see some of what's left. It's been sanded down and refinished. And uh, you know, it's, it'll be all right as long as it has a splash. In it. This is just kind of stuck in there to keep the water from making, you know, getting at it again. But uh, it actually, I use this Flecto Varathene. It used to be called Flecto Varathene. I think they just call it Varathene now. But uh, it stood up for about 10 years to the water without a splash. The old top didn't even have a, a splash at all anywhere. It was flat. I mean, the old sink. And uh, it stood up for about 10 years. It started getting, I didn't, I didn't keep up with the caulking. It's really, the, I think, the biggest thing. Water got down in there, and it got behind it, and I didn't really finish the back of the cabinet or anything. You don't really do that. At least they don't do it in new construction, you know, or not remodels either. So uh, it got to the back and it ruined it, you know. So I just rebuilt the whole vanity, and um, this bathroom's not big enough to get a good view, but. Uh, this time I finished every inch of that thing, bottom, top, back, everything. This this vanity I did. And uh, so we're gonna put this in. Then I have to cut. I didn't want to cut it until I knew for sure. Until I got it in, got it set where it's gonna be and I want it to be right there on that edge of that route. So um, I wanted to cut it after it was exactly where it's going to be. So then I'll have to finish that little end of that. I'll have to put some more gel coat on that end where I cut it because I don't want water ruining that stuff's really porous, you know, when it's not fit, when it's not covered in anything. It comes. They put this gel coat in the mold and then pour in the uh, the uh, cultured marble, and it sticks to the cultured marble as it dries. That's how they get it so shiny and smooth. This did pretty good, but you can feel a little texture to it. You can see it when you're out in the light. But 
It's way better than brushing. I started out trying to brush and that was a no-go. I got a scrap, a piece of scrap out there that I tried that on. So anyway, go back to work.